I have had NS on stream so many fucking times this tournament. Just another opportunity for me to say that NS is the next Redemption Arc breakout, I guess. Oh, that's so sad that he couldn't make that back. That oh, that looked like he could have make it, made it back. <laughs> okay, that'll even up the game. <laughs> Next RA, NS Kalos Finals. I would be so here for it. Unfortunate that you miss the top four though, Kalos. That's really tough. You'll have to get on that grind, brother. YZ looks pretty much locked in first place. Out of that pool. Holy shit, and S brought that back. Good shit. Yeah, that SD was tough as fuck. Yeah, SDs are the secret killer. Actually, depending upon how NS plays in this set and against Butsubushi, NS might actually get first seed, not YZ. Nice crouch cancel. I think that's what makes Redemption Arc so good though. An experience with tournaments, we're gonna beat that out of you quick. You have to play so many tournament games in Redemption Arc. And you get games on stream, guaranteed. Just so long you don't DQ. If you've got those tournament nerves, you you will uh, learn to deal with them very quick. If you got nerves about being on stream. I think that's why I like hosting Redemption Arc so much. I said it before earlier on in this tournament, but when players start reaching the point in which they get put on stream, I think it's really easy to crack under the anxiety of being on stream. But if you're playing in Redemption Arc, you're getting a game on stream. And so you can 
learn to manage that anxiety really easy. Because if you just like play in the redemption arc every month, you're getting games on stream. I still get nerves when I have a game on stream. And I, I've been playing Melee since 2015. You'd think I'd be over it. But like... When I played in my first Persona tournament... My very first set ever was on stream. And I was shitting myself. Like, the anxiety starts all over again when you start learning a new game. It's crazy. Because, like, eventually you'll, you know, you're like, oh, I'm on stream because, I don't know, either I'm good enough or I got luck of the draw. You'll be on stream enough times when you're playing Melee to just sort of get used to it. But as soon as you're playing a new competitive game, you're like, oh my fucking god, I'm going to make myself look like an idiot in this game now. Sheik is really struggling to kill. Okay, as I speak. Benny had a tough SD last game. And SSD'd this game. And it's all fair, really. I think my first... I think my first game on stream was against Bundun. So... Maybe I'm mistaken. I don't know. My first top 8 was so long ago. 1-1. One, one. Very nice. Yeah, yeah, as Falco, you really need L cancels. This is quite the pick from NS. I feel like you could surely you could have gone like Hold on wait. Have they already played on PS? No. Surely you go either PS or FD. I wonder what brings you to FOD. Who chose? NS should have chosen. Because Benny won game two. How many sets left to play in this pool? After this game, NS is going to play Butsubushi off stream. While that's happening, I'm going to take a short break. And once they're done, I'm going to be back on stream for top four.
Okay. Big lag spike, I guess. I guess I'll just play it out. FD ban, probably a fear of going PS. FOD is similar to FD. That is a crazy statement. I would not say FOD is similar to FD at all. Benny's going for the edge guards a lot more now. I res I'm respecting it. I don't know why you'd be afraid to go to PS against Sheik. I don't know why you would be afraid of going PS as Marth against Sheik. At this level, surely that's Marth's best counterpick. Nice. At least in my mind it is. Because on PS you have the platforms to escape the Sheik down throws. But they're not close enough to the edge where the Sheik can reliably up B to them. Those dash attacks are crazy. This is fucking crazy. Does that kill? Oh my god, he's barely living. Oh my god. Okay. Whoa, that was so fucking close for NS. Holy shit. 